How's it going, people? Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Dapper Willis, once again. <laughs> the trader with a smile, the trader who always makes trading as interesting, as fun as possible, and the trader who always says the truth. I say it exactly how it is. Now, I figured I was going to be having a very busy week. Today is Monday, 13th of November. So I decided to come on here and actually show you guys what exactly I'm going to be trading for the week ahead. I want to show you guys some opportunities that you can potentially take advantage of so that you can have one of the best trading weeks ever. So if you want to have one of the best trading weeks ever, I suggest you sit back and listen to everything I have to share with you in this video. Now, if you, if you guessed that let me see. For those of you who will be following the longest, if you guessed this was Trader Talk, you are absolutely right. Today, we just smashed episode 49 of Trader Talk. If you're just joining me for the first time, like I said earlier, Trader Talk is basically a segment of my YouTube channel whereby I come to practice what I preach, okay? It's not just enough for traders to just come and say, oh, use this trend line or do this and do that. No, 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 no. There's a methodology that I have. It's called a top-down analysis. It's basically an approach whereby I can see thousands of pips into the future. Yes, I'm able to project over 2,000 pips. And then I scale down to a lower time frame and I trade in the direction of the overall trend, meaning that for as little as 30 to 50 pips, I can back over 1,000 pips. It's, guys, I feel like it's the best approach in Forex trading. It's called the top-down analysis. And for those of you guys who haven't already grabbed the Forex Mastery course, the top-down analysis is in the program and the link is in the description as always. Now, the good thing about it is the fact that you can use it to analyze any single financial instrument out there in the world. Like today, I'm not going to jump straight into the FX space because right now FX is a bit boring, if I'm being honest. There's a concept whereby money flows from market to market. Okay, so for the last maybe six months, the forex market has been popping. It's been moving up and down the whole place. But I noticed something last night and the S&P 500 actually caught my attention and so did Bitcoin. So I'm actually seeing a change of direction in terms of where investors are putting their money. It's slowly going away from FX and we're gradually moving into the S&P 500, the indices, the BTCs and alternative forms of investment. Now, you guys are in luck because, like I said, the top-down analysis, you can use it to analyze. So, no matter where the money goes, no matter where the money goes, that's what I'm trying to say. No matter where the money goes, you will catch it. <laughs> no matter where the money goes, you will catch out. <laughs> we'll always catch it. Once again, if you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery program, which has the top-down analysis, the link is in the description. As always, on my team will put it around here somewhere. So, guys, without any further ado, like I said, I'm going to be jumping into my charts. We'll start off with the S&P 500. You can make a lot of money from it as well. Your, your trading platform should have that. I'm going to go over into BTC, and then we're going to go into some Forex pairs. Don't worry, I'll cover everything. The top-down analysis got you. Dapo Willis got you. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. All right, people. So welcome inside my screen. Welcome to the best thing that's going to happen to your trading week. The best thing that's going to... You get the point. <laughs> now, guys, what I have in front of me is Bitcoin. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over some alternative um, asset classes before I jump into uh, FX, right? And the reason I'm doing this is I'm seeing some very juicy opportunities. I feel like you guys, if you play your cards right, which obviously I'm gonna show you guys how to go about it, uh, you could potentially make a lot of money um, over the next coming weeks. Now, before I jump into the analysis and giving you guys all this free game and helping you guys make all this money, you need to do yourself, not just me, but yourself, one favor and smash the subscribe button right there. Why? So that you're notified anytime videos like this drop. Very important because we know how fast the market can move. The last thing you want to do is watch a Trader Talk video that I dropped seven days ago after the market has already played out. There's no point. So if you want to be one of the first people to be able to get access to trading opportunities that could potentially change your life okay smash the subscribe button right there and smash the bell icon as well so that notifies you as well you have five seconds to do that in five four three two right there one all right guys there we go so let's jump in so what i have in front of me right about now is bitcoin btc now i've been monitoring btc for the longest time i'm going to delete everything on my chart like i always do so I want you guys to be to, to obviously flow with me, right? I want you guys to flow with me, listen to what I have to say. I want you guys to kind of like understand my vibe. I'm gonna use the top-down analysis. It works 99.9% .9 of the time. We're gonna be using that to analyze Bitcoin. Now, from what I can see on Bitcoin, Bitcoin is doing uh Bitcoin might be pushing for 
um, an upside to about $48,000 per coin. Now, why do I think this is the case? It's simple. Top-down analysis, you know we must always come on a monthly time frame to see what exactly is happening. Now, <clears throat> Bitcoin had this massive push to the upside when everybody was like, Bitcoin! 64k then he dropped everybody got wiped out and started going up again like yeah i told you bitcoin is the best it's the best it's the best i told you the best, it's the best. technical and a technical analyst like me was never excited about bitcoins especially from the second wave why because look very carefully this is the high of the market which was about sixty five thousand dollars per coin I said to myself, the only time I'm going to get excited about Bitcoin is if we're able to breach this price level about here, which is $65,000 per coin. As you can see, the market came here, flicked it the first time, flicked it the second time, literally spent about two months here, was unable to do it. Once I saw this, this officially printed a double top. So once I saw this red candle and then I saw this other red candles forming, I already knew for sure that Bitcoin was about to go into a bearish trend. This was this uptrend was automatically over. Forex mastery students, you know, one of the rules of a trend reversal is a double top on a higher time frame. I wasn't supposed to say that, but forex mastery students, you know, it's simple and easy. So just by looking at monthly time frame, I already knew the uptrend was over. Now, when the uptrend is over, what do we do next? We bleed all the way to the downside. We must. The rules state that after every double top. We must always bleed all the way back down to the neckline. So at this point, I already knew Bitcoin was going to drop all the way down to um, 34K. So imagine being able to predict the collapse of Bitcoin from about 56K all the way down to 34K. So that's a 20K difference, right? I don't even know what happened, why I wasn't shorting it exactly, but that's a conversation for another day. I predicted it, but I was just too busy with so many things, right? Anyways, that dropped. Not only did we drop, once we breached the neckline, I started looking for potential areas where we could potentially collapse down into, and the next level target was actually all the way down here. If I plot this properly, it was actually about here, okay? Now, as you can see, we've pulled into this level and all of that, but, sorry guys, but just looking at Bitcoin, if I just look at it again, this guy is giving me vibes of, of a push to the upside, okay? And it pulled back. And we might be pushing for another yet another high. Yes, it's looking like we want to we want we might want to push higher for Bitcoin. So if I come on a weekly time frame just to get a, 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 a glimpse of whatever whatever the hell is going on, if I adjust this properly for the sake of adjustment purposes, and I put my black line here. If you want to learn how to analyze just like me, grab the Forex Mastery program. The, the, the link is in the description down below. So as we speak, Bitcoin has crossed all my areas of concern. This was the very, very strong bottom at 31K. Um, it's, it, it touched it a couple of times, you know, double top here and then broke above it. This was the black line of death. Um, it's crossed it as we speak. So right now, just looking at Bitcoin. Hold on, guys. Sorry guys, somebody's at the door, just give me a sec. So guys, let me take it again, right? Everybody just seems to be distracting me, okay? Kick it off from the monthly. We already seen what the monthly has to show us. Um, like I was saying earlier, the weekly plotted my key levels. I can tell you for free, obviously you can see the top-down analysis in action from the monthly. We're going out to the weekly. From the weekly, we're coming down to the daily. Now, I have this clear space to work with, right? All of here. Now I can comfortably come on the four hour time frame to see what exactly is happening. Can you see all this space to the upside? So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be expecting a probably a, a, a proper blowout to somewhere around here, wait for a pullback, and then I'm gonna start looking for long opportunities into $47,000 per coin. Without any iota of doubt, I see no reason why Bitcoin should not be shooting into 47K. Um, yes, so um, you heard it here first on Dapsy Radio. Bitcoin should be shooting all the way to, you can see it's looking very ripe. Looking very ripe to the upside. $47,000 per coin next up for BTC. Now let's go over to the S&P 500, which I, I, I had actually predicted during my last trading talk video. I'm just going to quickly go over it on from the monthly time frame. So that you guys can see so you can see very clearly like i mean at the time when i easy so so easy guys so freaking easy so easy so easy so easy so just come on the monthly time frame 
I'd already seen this massive bullish trend to the upside. Um, I'd seen this pullback. Actually, let me delete this. Delete everything. Right? Just want to delete everything so that you guys can understand what I mean. S&P 500, simple, straightforward. High, low, higher, high, higher, low. The market obviously had come in to put in this high, but I knew for a fact that because of how the uptrend was pretty much built, this wasn't the, the, the market... In order for a trend to change, we need to at least come and put in a double top, okay? At least an equal top or a slightly higher top before we reverse. So I knew that this guy wasn't done yet. So when I look closely, I zoomed in pretty nicely. I was able to discover that it's actually a trend line running like so. So when this guy started to pull all the way down here, I left from my monthly, came over to my weekly, and I realized that there was some level of support about here. You can see, so this was pretty much the neckline of this inverse head and shoulder pretty nice. And you can see we've come and jumped into it. And then if you draw your Fibonacci from swing low to swing high, this is what they call the Willis zone. I call this here pretty nicely, so simple, so straightforward on my last video. If you're doubting me, you can always go back to check it. So it's so simple and straightforward. I am calling S&P 500. You heard it here first at 47,000, not 47,000, 4,786 points, basis points. The S&P 500. So nobody's talking about on Bloomberg. Nobody's talking about on CNN. All the fancy analysts, they don't know this stuff. How do I know this? Because I am a chart bro. I'm a chart bro. I'm a chartist. I see what they cannot see. Okay? I see what they cannot see. I'm a magician on this shit. So, I'm telling you guys for free, S&P 500 is going to rally all the way up to 4,786 um, basis point. I'm already long this. I came. I, I became longest in the Willis Zone. Don't know what the Willis Zone is. Willis Zone is pretty much a confluence whereby uptrend, support, and Fibonacci come into... A point of confluence i named it after myself called the dapper willis the willis zone so this is the willis zone willis zone always works bounced into the willis zone got into some buys was on a four hour time frame as the market came in so simple so straightforward i just drew a very simple counter trend line like so bam once i just started to see some very nice bullish pattern on a lower time frame as you can see like i said to you guys i analyze on higher time frames analyze on higher time frames and i come down to lower time to frames to execute my entry so my entries are actually somewhere about here okay stop loss is so small my stop loss is literally so small give me a sec just to this long position stop loss is so small and then i'm gunning for the big dogs for what the big dogs the big dogs this is what I say, you can keep your risk to reward very small, okay? So you can keep your risk very, very small and your reward really, really massive. So at the end of the day, I mean, if I'm risking 3% on this trade, I'm definitely sure of about... So this is a 61, so 3 times 6, so you're looking about, what, potentially uh, an 18% return on investment on just this one trade as we speak. So this is what I always preach about quality over quantity quality over quantity quality over quantity this is going to be one of my first trades in quite a bit so i'm long the s p 500 i'm going to be monitoring it pretty nicely i have no doubts in my body that s p 500 is going to rally it's definitely definitely first level target for me s p 500 is always going to be at the 100 percent retracement which is here at this point i will be taking out 50 percent of my position hold on 50% of my position somewhere about here. Guys, once again, I mean, on this video, I'm showing you guys as things are playing out. But if you check my previous video, just before this one, I showed towards the end, just go to the very end of that video. I think the last pair I went over was S&P 500. I literally said it was going to bounce off of here. It has bounced. I've gone into the trade. Because I don't want people coming on here saying, oh, yeah, yeah. It's easy to say it now. And they, 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 when the trade is already playing out, I literally walked everybody through the process. I said, this is what's going to happen. And this is what I'm going to watch out for. And see exactly how I'm going to execute the trade. So I've executed my trade. And then the market is pointing all the way to the upside. So first level target, $4,588. Why do I keep calling it dollars? $4,588 basis points. Take that out, next level target, 4,786 basis points. So these are the two alternate classes that I'm closely monitoring. BTC, is, we'll get there. Just give you another 10 days. It will give us a nice setup. S&P 500 already going. And then over to currencies. 
So you guys know me, big fan of AUD USD. It's been a longest time. My guy has been swinging and coasting. And then I remember when the last pullback was this one. Jumped into here. I always tell you people, when you plot your key levels, keep them. Leave them. When I plotted this level, the market tried, 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 came, it broke above it. I left the level, it came back down, tried it again, it still came back down, close below it, and then it started coming down here. This is resistance, ladies and gentlemen. You see, the thing about levels in the market is, it is very dynamic, okay? The market isn't just going to just go to your level and just turn around. It hardly happens. It will play around with it. So keep your levels. Don't ever adjust it. So as we came down here, I started to see a cluster of uh, a, a supply cluster. I kept my finger about here. I actually wanted to jump into another trade, but I just didn't have the time. I've been so busy. Willis Capital is taking so much of my time that I don't even have that much time to actually look for other trading opportunities. I am short all the way from here, and I also have another opportunity somewhere, um, another trade trade somewhere on here. So I have two sell positions in AUD USD. This would have been a fantastic third, but unfortunately, I didn't get into it. But I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, AUD USD is coming down to 0.6192. 0.61920 next level target for AUD USD. Nothing is going to stop it. It's coming down here. It has taken forever. It's taking the better part of from 23rd of March. What am I saying? From February. It's taking the like the better part of a year. But sometimes, guys, that's exactly how the market just rolls. So I keep telling people like Place your trade and go do other things. There are other trading opportunities. There are the long-term trades. There are trades that will play out in one week. There are trades that will play out in three days. There are trades that will play out in two months. So you need to have all these trades, you understand, stacked up. The idea of the market is, is to place trades so that the market will make money for you while you sleep. So as the market is, the idea is, okay, you've seen the first setup, okay? First setup is here, it's happened, you place the trade. Second setup is somewhere around here, you place the trade. So as the market is coming down, you're just stacking, you're adding. At the end of the day, this move is 0 0.700 all the way down to 0 0.600, so 1,000 pip move. At the end of the day, you've pretty much between between a 1,000 pip move because you have like two to three positions open. Fam, you've pretty much bagged like 2,500 pips easy. It has taken a while, but it's worth it. Absolutely worth it. And in all of this, you're checking your chart once in a day, once in two days. You've made more money at the end of the year, you found at the end of the quarter, you found out that look, all my friends that I started trading with have all blown their accounts. They've blown multiple accounts, three, four, five accounts, nothing to show for it. But you that just stuck with the top-down analysis, guys, you're up 2,500 pips and you're it's so stress-free. You're just chilling and adding positions. I called the AUDUSD for the longest time. You can check my Twitter, you can check everywhere. AUDUSD, I've been bearish and I've held on to my bias. Guys, I believe in the top down analysis and it has made me so freaking rich. So now is your opportunity to believe in something. A lot of people have run away from the market because they don't they didn't have anything to hold on to i hold on to the top-down analysis and it has made me so much money once again the link to the forex mastery program which has the top-down analysis is in the link down below so adusd i can see next level target is going to give me this green bar if we break here 0 0.600 let me quickly go over to euro dollar so euro dollar is pretty much sitting on this blue bar right i told you guys it's simple <sighs> low Lower high, you come and put in a lower low, at least an equal low. But for now, the reason why um, Euro USD is not dropping is because of this blue bar. I'm watching this blue bar very carefully. Today is the 13th of November. The last monthly candle, which was October, has closed as a an indecision candle, right? Now, it looks like we're about to reverse. So, right now, the market doesn't know exactly what it wants to do. It, know, it knows what it wants to do. But it has other technical issues like this level this market is not just going to ignore this level this level held here held here held here and almost potentially held here even worried the market here even still acted as support somewhere around here okay so don't think that this market is just going to come here and drop nope it will play around with it it will play or you'll play around it for quite a bit oh uh, yeah trust me so at the moment, the euro is going to play around here, but right now, the euro is pretty much ranging. I'm not going to touch it. 
GBPUSD, same situation, same scenario. Okay, I need for me to be interested in both GBPUSD and EURUSD. This, this major level of support needs to be taken out. Once we can take it out, if you zoom in pretty nicely, 1.200 all the way down to 1.0600. So you're looking at about 1,400 pip drop potentially. That's huge. Okay. All you need to do is just be freaking patient, wait for us to clear, and then you can have something like the S&P 500 where everything's pretty much nicely done. Oil, I'm not going to get into oil um, today because oil is going to take too much of my time. I'm going to be monitoring oil pretty nicely over the next couple of weeks. Um, I think during my next trader talk, I'm going to go over oil. But for now, these are my major pairs I'm focusing on. I'm long S&P 500. You can see this is a bullish engulfing candle on the monthly time frame, although the monthly hasn't closed yet. But we have a bullish engulfing candle on the weekly. Okay, this is enough for me. Once I see, so it's a confluence. Support level held, um, bounced off of trend line support, bounced off of normal support, trend line support as well. You guys forgot to know what the trend line support looks like. I'll just show you guys right about here. So we have trend line support, we have normal support, we have Fibonacci support, Willison confluence, all the way to the upside. So we have three levels of confluence that makes a Willison. And then to make matters even more interesting, we have candlestick confirmation, bullish engulfing candle bounce off of this region. It's a no-brainer, guys. So once again, guys, I hope I've been able to shed light on all these pairs. Um, I think this time next week, I'm going to be going over the JPY pairs as well. I think I actually just want to be touching on every and anything. I just want to show you guys how it's done. I want to flex my top-down analysis skills. I want to show you guys how it's done because too many people are doubting me. They are doubting the tech, the, the chat bro. The chat bro. How? 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 Anything I see happens. Thanks to price action though. That's what happens when you study the market and become a magician and everybody wants to hang around. Everybody wants to take pictures with you like, oh my God, he's such a good trader, blah, blah, blah. And guys, I'm going to leave you with this. Don't be the regular guy who just posts screenshots and doesn't really know how to trade. You see, the reason why I will most likely outlive most of the Forex influence, uh, influencers out there is because I'm not about hype. Do you get what I mean? Yes, I post flashy stuff every now and then. But at the end of the day, when we open up the charts, fam, I can do this year in, year out. Year in, year out, and the trades work out. My core, my, my core in Forex is actually chart work. This is where this is where I do my real flexing. Not on the gram, not on YouTube, although I'm about to really start flexing. As a matter of fact, um, after this video, I'm heading to one of the most amazing resorts in Dubai. I'm going to go um, create content there, show you guys around it. I'm just actually just spending a couple of days there. It costs about $1,500 a night. <laughs> so I'm going out there because obviously we want to start creating content for the new YouTube channel whereby, whereby I show you guys behind the scenes into my life, how I trade and stuff like that. So I think that video should be out in 10 days as well. So we have two channels that are going to be running parallel to each other. One is for lifestyle and all the cool stuff. And this one strictly for chart work, money. How can we make money? Buy, sell, up and down, ebbs, the flows, Elliott Wave, release zone and all that kind of good stuff. Once again, I think that's about it. Thank you for staying to the very end of this video. I'll catch you guys in my other screen. I've gone over at S&P 500, BTC, AD, USD, Euro, USD, and GBP, USD. That's it, guys. See you guys in my other screen. Let's go. Thank you, guys, for staying to the very end of that video. I know it was long, but I just had to break it down. I had to break it down for you guys so you guys can see this shit, man. I need you guys to see what I'm on. To see the P I'm on. I have to make the money right way. Don't mind all this, guys. This is the way. I didn't show you guys too way. <laughs> Thank you guys for staying to the very end of this video. I love you guys very much. I'll catch you guys in my subsequent videos. If you haven't already subscribed, then sure to smash the subscribe button down below right there. And if you haven't already, go up the Forex Mastery Program. You're doing yourself a great injustice. And sure to grab it right now, right here in the description. I love you guys very much and peace out.